This is the Eagle Eye Podcast with Ruben Frank. I'm Dave Zangaro. Uh, I'll kind of break it down a little bit if you, if you guys haven't seen the report. Chris Mortensen from ESPN reported that the uh, the relationship between Wentz and the Indianapolis Colts might not be going great. And uh, <laughs> it might be a one and done. It's a uh, It's an interesting situation. And the first time you hear it, you're like, there has to be more to this than what we're hearing because look, he wasn't great this year and he, he certainly tailed off at the end of the season. He wasn't good when it mattered for them, but he wasn't bad this year either. You know, there, it feels like there's more to this than his play on the field. Yeah. And it's funny. I mean, he's a guy who, I mean, his numbers, 27 touchdowns, seven picks, 94 four passer rating. They were nine and six going into those, you know, those last two games against the Raiders and the Jaguars that they lost. Um, but yeah, I think if you if you see him in some of his decision making, um, he's one of the most infuriating players because he's obviously got some talent. I mean, you, you know, maybe not be, not the talent he had before the series of injuries that kind of have changed him, but. Um, I mean, I saw somewhere, I mean, there's been speculation that Irsay was, was really mad that he wouldn't get vaccinated. He did miss, did he miss a game? I think he missed one game. Um, no, not, they changed the rule. Oh yeah. They changed the rule. He ended up not missing a game. Um, but yeah, there's, there's obviously, I mean, for, for more to write it that strongly. I mean, he wrote that the, his, his, his chances of returning to the Colts are bleak. And, you know, the Colts wouldn't have the same financial issues that the Eagles had, you know, because he's, he's a year, he's a year more, another year into it. And, um, the mode, the, the I, I don't want to get into the whole why, but I mean, they would save money under their cap if they, if they trade him or, or release him. Um, so they don't have that. Um, I don't know. I mean, he's going to be 30 in December. Um, he's never played a playoff game. He played three, what, nine snaps through one pass, completed one pass to Boston Scott for three yards. And that's his playoff career. And when he's 30, he's going to, that's going to be his, you know, he hasn't even, so maybe they just, you know, this is not what we signed up for. It's not going to get better. Um, it's, it's, it's a strange situation. And it's, you know, I know we, we joke around a lot about it, but, I mean, I kind of feel bad for him. I don't know. I, I guess he's brought a lot of this onto himself. Um, certainly here he did the whole, just, he was so entitled and, um, but such a promising career. I mean, the way he played in 17, I mean, he was third in MVP voting. He played 11 games and uh, made second team all pro. And since then it's just been steady spiral downhill. I don't know if he's gonna even be a starter anywhere. If he goes somewhere else, I mean, I guess there's some teams. Pittsburgh needs a quarterback. Tampa needs a quarterback. I think Pittsburgh might be a good place for him, but is he ever going to play better than he did this year? I, I don't know. Is he ever going to play the way he did in 17? I doubt it. So it's just – it's kind of it's kind of a crazy story. I mean, the Colts were so – I mean, the whole thing, you know, going back and playing with Frank, Frank was going to get him back to where he needed to be, and, and now they're – given up on him already most likely maybe the report's wrong but mort mort's not wrong you know and mort's pretty plugged into earsay somebody tweeted out a photo of mort and earsay at some party like arm in arm <laughs> like just like, like okay so i don't know it's uh whole thing is just shot his whole career is just weird yeah the the thing i mean they just traded a first round pick for the guy yeah that it, i mean it, they could they could trade him before the Eagles even use that pick. Yeah, it's to to give up that much for a player and to give up on him after a year, to me that points to there's more to it. Yeah. Right? How can it be that his play on the field? Because he wasn't awful. He wasn't no, good. He wasn't awful. He wasn't awful. I mean, he had and one he... stretch there in the middle of the season where he was really good. I mean, because they were 0 3, right? Didn't they start out 0 3? And then they were nine and nine and six, so they went, you know, they went nine and three, and 
I mean, he played well during that stretch for the most part. I mean, there was always the weird interception you would see on the highlights where he was like about to get sacked and would throw the ball over his head. And, you know, and he had one of those in the Jacksonville game. Maybe the Jacksonville game, I mean, they were 15 point favorites in that game. I and, mean, you know, you lose to the Raiders and the Jaguars, two teams with interim coaches, to, you know, with a, with a playoff berth. Maybe they, that was just, just like, are we going to run it back with this guy? I don't know. I don't know what else it could be. And you know what? And he's not a bad guy. I mean, Carson's not a bad person. Uh, he, I mean, he, he, the charity stuff he does is really meaningful and significant. Um, and, you know, I, I think he's, you know, I think he's gotten some really bad advice. I think he's got some people around him advising him that maybe uh, isn't ideal, but uh, I don't think he's a bad person, but it's just, uh, I mean, what else could it be? You know, it's, well, not I mean, like he's, it's not like he's like getting into trouble. You know, do the players not like him? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it was certainly we we all know about his issues here with leadership and everything, and you know, it's a weird deal. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you alluded to it a little bit. He he's not a bad guy, but. There are character flaws there, and they've been well documented. and And when you're in that position, those are some flaws you can't have. And I, I, I'm speculating here. Obviously, I don't know what what transpired in Indy, but that's the first thing that came to my mind. Because you look at the on field, and it's like the on field is not bad enough in my eyes to give up on it after a year after you just traded a first round pick. So what else could it be? And that's where your mind goes first. It's like, did were the relationships not as sturdy in the building? Was there, you know, him and Frank had this great relationship. Frank was supposed to bring him back to what he was in 17. Clearly that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Was there something, was that relationship not as sturdy as they thought it was? Because he was, he was once really tight with Doug Peterson too. And that soured awfully quickly. So that's the first thing that came to my mind. And maybe that's unfair, but that's his reputation now. Yeah, no, I think it is fair. And I mean, that that was my initial thinking was, well, if if Carson has these problems, you know, either getting along with people or with leadership or in the locker room, like Frank was around him for two years. Like he you would think he would know who Carson is and what he's all about. But maybe the two years apart, Carson changed, um, maybe grew well, in time. Think about those team. years. Think about the difference in years from when Frank was with him and after Frank left. Yeah, yeah, he. I mean, something. Cha- yeah, something definitely changed. I mean, and and the injuries, the injuries, maybe had a cum- cumulative effect. The knee. Uh, who knows about the concussion? Uh, I do know that concussions can have really long, long lasting effects over. Yes, over years, they can really. You know, so I, I don't know. There's some. There's just something to me. There's something sad. I mean, in a way, you kind of laugh at it, like you know, and especially because of the way he left here and just how arrogant all the Colts fans and all the Wentz enablers, all the Wentz people on Twitter were like, "Oh, he's gonna, you know, he's gonna do this and that." And you kind of laugh at that, but it's it's just sad. I mean, he's just it's just sad. He was such a talented guy, and that guy just doesn't exist anymore. I thought I mean, he was going to be good. He played in seventeen before he got hurt in in L.A. I mean, that was that was some of the best play. That was probably the best stretch of Eagles quarterback play ever. Maybe Donovan in 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 04. Randall had a stretch in his in in ninety, but like over a ten game stretch, I don't know if any Eagles quarterbacks ever played better. And now can't keep a job. And that yeah, wasn't that long ago. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's been a uh, it's been quite a fall from grace, and he was someone who I was convinced was going to be a very good player for a very long time. He was, you know, the NFL does that uh, the top 100 every year. Yeah, he was he was third or second yeah, or third was. in the league, and to see it now, it's like, man, how do we even get here? He was so good. So good. And maybe the way he was playing that year wasn't sustainable, but you figured he'd still be good. 
you know, yeah. and it's, it's been, it's been brutal. How much do you think the knee, I mean, because such, such a big part of his game was, it wasn't really running as much as just, you know, moving and creating time, creating space, being creative um, in, in the pocket and then finding guys. Um, and I just think he lost that ability. And I just, you know, that was, that was a big chunk, I think, of what made him special. Now, usually with ACLs, you know, you, you, you can be the same guy, but he had more than ACL damage, right? I mean, he had. It was the LCL too. Yeah. Yeah. It was LCL. Like I know, I mean, um, there was a lot of stuff in there. So maybe that's. <laughs> Is that the medical term? <laughs> that's, that's, that was a lot of stuff. Wasn't there? We don't want to get too technical here, but there, there was a lot of stuff in there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, maybe that's where it started, but you know, I mean, th there were stretches like at, at the end of 18 where he was, I mean, he was really, really good, but maybe he just couldn't do it over, over the long term. 19. End of 19. He was incredible with no throwing a bunch of practice from a bunch of practice squad guys. Yeah. For, the one for thing stretches. With, the one thing that with him that re really stands out to me is the mental side of it. Sometimes like he's seeing ghosts out there. He just is. And the hero ball stuff. The one thing you mentioned earlier about Joe Burrow is really true. That guy knows how to take a sack. There's there's something about just knowing this play's dead, go down. It's a, it's a trait that doesn't get talked about enough because it's valuable. Because if you don't – there's a, there's a fine line to this. There's There really <laughs> is because – what made him a special player, Carson, for a long time was his ability to to extend plays, to buy time, to throw a guy off of him. But in recent years, that's led to a lot of bad mistakes. And like like not just bad mistakes, but like highlight real all-time bad mistakes. Right. You can't have it. There's something to Joe Burrow being like, nope, got to go down, get back up and play the next play. And 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 Carson hasn't done that enough. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, on the one hand, you admire a guy who thinks he can turn every broken play into a big play, uh, a guy who thinks he's Superman out there. But you have to be realistic and understand your limitations. And, you know, maybe maybe he hasn't adjusted his game to the way his body is since the injury. I mean, maybe those are plays he could have made earlier in his career and he still thinks he can make them. He can't. And that's some of the stubbornness in him which is a, like sometimes stubbornness gets branded as a negative all the time and it's not there there's some good things about being stubborn for an NFL player a quarterback but some of it can hurt him and I think we've seen that with him a little bit yeah very true you got anything else on, on him before we move on I feel like we no. just put a lot of quarters in the jar but <laughs> there, we had to talk yeah. about him no it's but it's it really is it's one of the more interesting you know, player, I guess, arcs, whatever you want to call it, that, we, that we've seen. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens next.